Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Should we do a little pit stop reading? I can hear the radio on in the background like it's really low. It's 1522. You've got this. So we're doing a little pit stop reading. I'm not sure what you're needing reassuring about, but you've got this. Okay. Tomorrow, you will be unstoppable. Good to know. It's Monday tomorrow. Okay, the beginning of a new week. I felt the energy of a beginning of a new life. Enjoy being yourself and you'll feel no need to copy others. Enjoy being yourself and you'll feel no need to copy others. This is a nice energy. Ooh. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. This is when you're happy with yourself. So, uh, you're happy with who you are. Good for you. Good for you. Okay. Let's flip this around. Just bring up a hair with me. Bring up a hair. Let the fire inside of you burn brighter than the fire around you. Now, that was in reverse. So, maybe things aren't so great today. But you're feeling good about who you are. Okay, and I don't feel that you have any need or any want to copy others. So you could be experiencing, as the kind of world is getting a bit active now and you're starting to mingle with others, um, you start to notice the kind of conversations that they have. What is it that they're talking about? And you find yourself really not wanting to be part of some of the discussions. Okay. You know they're not good for you. What, the conversations or the people? Both. So tomorrow you will be unstoppable, so you've got to get through today. Let the fire inside of you burn brighter than the fire around you. So, you've got some fires around you. Well, let that fire inside of you burn brighter. That takes me to your divine counterpart. Allow them to come through and ignite you from within. Okay, enjoy being yourself. And you'll feel no need to copy others. So you do have someone, okay, that flame, that is just like you. Would you like a song? We can see if there's a song on. Finally, it's happened to me. Right in front of my face. My, fee my feelings. Can't describe it. Okay. Life is the best gift. When I did feel that there were some gifts from God coming in for you, what's been sent in? Let's have a look. Let's get you an angel prayer. These feel nice and light. Okay. I was going to say they feel nice and light and airy. Like the fairies. I feel like you have the fairies around you. Do you believe in fairies? Do you believe in magic? We've got the change and transition card. Archangel Azriel. Thank you, Azriel, for leading me safely through this change. Things are going to be changing tomorrow. I have a feeling. Let's read this card. Thank you for helping me through today is the energy coming through. You're going through some changes right now and you may not be enjoying them, but please be assured that they are for your highest good. Change is a natural process and we are constantly moving through different levels of development and experience so we can grow. Allow yourself to relax, knowing that the angels are supporting you through these changes. The expanded interpretation. Change can be a challenging process, especially if you fight it. Know that you are supported at this time and that the changes really are bringing blessings into your life. 
You may be faced with the feeling of fear and not knowing what the next stage is, but there are plenty of doors opening and opportunities being presented to you. Allow yourself to let go and welcome the new and exciting energy life is bringing to you. I'm so excited. Archangel Asmiel. Asmiel's name means he who helps God. He is the angel who guides us through the process of transition. With his phoenix-like energy, he helps us to rise from the ashes of our challenges, to be reborn and positive again. He has a close link with mediums and is the angel who lovingly guides us to the other side at the time of our passing. He is strong but loving and supportive. Call on him to guide you through change in a peaceful and loving way. I've got an extremely itchy right, left, left knee. This side, this side, this side. <coughs> Let's go to your angels and ancestors. I, I felt this energy a weekend of wanting support. Okay. It's kind of like helping you to face something that you need to get through. Look, tomorrow you're going to be unstoppable. You will be unstoppable. I felt that energy. Well, it's not that I feel unstoppable today. Although I was sitting there thinking I could sit here and read cards all day long today. Um, but I said in this morning's reading that I felt more of myself. And it says here, enjoy being yourself and you'll feel no need to copy others. We have Shapeshifter. Transform and unveil your gifts. That's what happens when you uh, believe in magic. Take your time and focus on developing your gifts and strengths. In native, in native traditions, a shapeshifter is either an animal that has the capacity to change between species or a shaman who has the capacity to transform into an animal to go journeying. If there is a wild animal you are particularly drawn to or fascinated by, it's probably because you can transform into one in your meditation or journey and practice to go exploring in the other worlds. When you shift into animal form, you can see the world through different eyes and tap into the animal survival skills to help yourself through a particular situation. Interesting, because I picked up on the flame being inside of you. And um, when it says here, if you, if there is a wild animal you are particularly drawn to or fascinated by, it's probably because you can transform into one in your meditation or journey and practice to go exploring in the other worlds. So, there's this ability to reach each other. You may have been through many challenges and lows, but now you are in a space of transformation. You are moving beyond the past you are moving beyond your past challenges and honing your current strengths. There are opportunities for you to discover <clears throat> and rediscover the gifts and talents that you were born with. And born to share. All of your past experiences have only helped you see how strong you really are. You are an amazing soul who can change and change, <clears throat> change and transform in ways that people least expect. You have many talents that you will share in your lifetime. You are guided to stay focused on the light, knowing that it will guide you forward. When this card arrives, there's also an opportunity for you to tap into the power of your spirit animal. 
note if you're seeing a particular animal regularly because its medicine is coming to you. Page number 69. Okay, anyway. <laughs> medicine. <laughs> uh, note if you're seeing a particular animal regularly because its medicine is coming to you. Okay. She-wolf. That was the energy I was feeling. It's the divine feminine being the wild one. A she-wolf. A she-man. Shaman, a she-man. Where was we? We were going to an animal. Uh, and I, I knew I would be pulling one of these cards. I wasn't sure how it was going to come in, but I could feel the animal spirit calling me. Well, let's have a look and see what card wants to come out of um, the Archangel Animal deck. <clears throat> and I felt the fairies as well. I did. Would you like a song? We always like a song, Lucy. I know. Red like a rascal. Buffalo soldier. Dread like a rascal. Let's have a look at the uh, Archangel Animal. You got the monkey. We got the hundredth monkey. Experience all that life has to offer. Well, why not? Seeing as life is the best gift. Itchy nose. I feel like I have a hair up my nose. Oh, we picked up one up off of the floor, didn't we? Not that type of hair. Monkey. Experience all that life has to offer. Archangel Raphael. All types of monkeys originate from the 10th dimensional universe of Shekinah and step down through the Pallades. Their chatter calls in angel sonics that heal the creatures around them and help trees to grow. Monkeys also use these sonics to share news and information from the angels and elementals with animals, birds, trees and humans. Okay. Um, original sent me a song. I haven't listened to it because I only needed to look at the title and it was Snow, Inform Her. <laughs> Inform it's Informa. You know the song. I played your boom boom down. I don't know, something like that. Anyway. Uh, so, Informa, Snow. And I actually said to her, what are you meant to be informing me about? And then she said, I don't know. <laughs> okay. And it was as I was listening to the song that I shared on the community tab. So check that out. Which was an uh, example. Kickstart. Okay. But it's a, a different version. Okay. So, monkeys also use these sonics to share news and information from the angels and elementals with animals, birds, trees and humans. As heart-centred beings, monkeys incarnate to experience with the right brain and follow their instincts. They are learning about qualities such as unconditional love, loyalty, togetherness and trust. Their focus is on family life, enjoyment, developing the senses, food and connecting with the trees. They are not here to develop human intellectual capacity or logical ability, but are extremely evolved spiritually and truly experience oneness. So the guidance. Focus on developing your right brain and your heart, as this is the route to ascension and oneness. Interesting, because I kind of said I was scratching my right knee, my left knee, <clears throat> and I felt, does that mean you're doing the right stuff? Right stuff, baby, love the way you turn me on. Okay, well, focus on developing your right brain and your heart, as this is the route to ascension and oneness. Take time out to relax, have fun and just be. Enjoy your senses, love your food, 
smell the flowers and see the beauty everywhere. Touch your loved ones and listen with loving expectation. Attune to the wonder of nature. Bring your family or community together. In this way, you really connect with and understand oneness. It is important to be aware of your voice when you talk or sing. When it is warm and harmonious, the angels can use it to create sonics that purify you and light you up. You will radiate a pool of healing around you and this not only helps others but attracts good into your life. Be careful and enjoy us. I feel that's a beautiful message here. I feel like it's um, coming through <clears throat> for the Divine Masculine. Some really nice guidance here. Enjoy being yourself and you'll feel no need to copy others. Um, but there's definitely a transmission of energy because I feel my voice is... Uh, it's changed a little bit. <clears throat> we'll have a song while we think about what... Uh, I don't even need to think about where we're going now. I'm sure this... Uh, I thought I saw the word uh, morals. Messages from heaven. I was looking, I believe it's called Needing You. Okay, I'm not sure. We've got some kistery going on today. We're pumping out the tunes. Oh, it's David Mor Morales with Needing You. Okay. Messages from heaven, they're communication cards. Trying to communicate something here. Problems that have held you back are being cleared and we are monitoring it. Card number 31. Messages from heaven. There is light ahead. After a difficult period, the sun's just come out. There is light ahead. After a difficult period, you will now have a time of release and letting go. Your loved ones are keeping an eye on things for you. You can relax knowing that better times are on their way. We will help take care of it for you. Should we get another one? Okay. Card number 35, someone needs your support. Can you help them? We will guide you. Your loved ones in spirit often have a panoramic view of what is happening to the people on this side of life and the most likely outcome based on the current set of circumstances. You are being called into service to assist another being who needs your help. They say, we thank you for assisting and we'll show you where we need your help. I still feel that's a message for you, Divine Masculine, because uh, your ancestors are with uh, the angels and, well, I felt that the Divine Feminine as well so it's time for you to step into service. Maybe your Divine Feminine could do with your help, assistance at this time. Oh, got the taste of fear in my mouth. Haven't had that one for a while. Let's have a look at the enchanted map then and see where you are. And then we shall get off. Anyway. Okay, we're hurrying things up now. Okay. Wishing well. 48. Desire is the sacred impulse for life. Feel it, but let go of all attachment to ownership. Desire is the most important impulse for creating life. Now you're seeing the relationship between desire and inspiration and sensing that moment of truth 
when you feel the inception of new life. It is an aha moment when everything makes sense. Okay. So, I, we can get off. We can get off now. We can get off. In what sense? <laughs> Perhaps you recognise a soulmate or are conceiving a baby or an idea. The Wishing Well card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings. Divine intelligence activates the field of possibilities where new life is co-created in a magical way. Neither you nor anyone else can know how or why this happens. It just does. To that end, you can't control the process of growth. Rather, you must step aside to be a channel for highest, the highest forces, for higher forces, and relinquish any attachment to how this new creation should appear or when. Form your intention and take action by dropping the coin into the wishing well and then trust in spirit and prepare to be amazed. Beautiful, we'll leave it there. I think we'll leave it there. We will leave ourselves in this state of um, preparation. Preparation for amazement. There you go. Um, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Have a lovely day. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.